Call of Duty points are now in Infinite Warfare. If you want the best way to get free Call of Duty points, click the link down in the description, install the app, and start getting yourself some free Call of Duty points today. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another episode of my best classed up series. Now this one is a highly requested episode, and today we're going to be talking about the R3K or the Rec Assault Rifle. This is actually the last episode of Assault Rifles or SMGs that I need to cover for my best class it up, and this one is very highly requested, but I had some trouble trying to find good class ups for this gun, and really talking about that and talking about my overall opinions on this gun and why I saved it for last throughout this video. But first off, I'm going to say this is my first upload of the day. Plenty more to come today, so if you guys could smash up a like on this thing, that would be greatly appreciated. We're just going to go for 1,500 likes in this video, and as soon as you guys smash that out, I'll have more uploads for you guys later today, so that would be absolutely awesome if we could hit that. Also, I'd appreciate if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I upload every single thing you need to know about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, as well as Modern Warfare for remastered and I do appreciate all the new people subscribing to my channel since this game has come out and let's get right into it so this gun is the r3k or the wreck I'm just gonna call it the wreck that's what sounds better to me and that's personally what I'm gonna call it that's how I like to call this gun and basically this is a three round burst weapon in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare however in the gameplay that you're watching here I'm actually using the epic variant of it I was lucky enough I think I got the epic variant of it from a supply drop um yeah I'm 100% sure I got it from a supply drop because I didn't buy it straight up and basically the epic variant makes it fully automatic so that's why if you're watching my gameplay it's going to be fully automatic for me however for most of you guys if you don't have the epic variant it's going to be burst fired i'll be talking about both of those things in this video right here I'm basically giving my overall opinions on this gun so to be honest the reason why i saved this gun for last is because I don't think this gun is is the best. I don't think it's the best assault rifle. I think there's definitely a way to use it, and I definitely made a class up here that makes this gun usable. However, I don't really see a place for the burst guns in this game, and I think that this one definitely does need a buff. Now, if you guys think back to Modern Warfare, or not Modern Warfare, but Black Ops 3, I was actually, the M8 was actually my favorite gun in the game, and that was, of course, a burst weapon. The reason why that was my favorite gun in the game is because Black Ops 3 had not a slow time to kill, but definitely a slower time to kill than in Infinite Warfare, and the M8A7 was known for when you slapped on that stock and that long barrel. You guys can go check my old Black Ops 3 gameplays if you don't believe me. That thing would one burst people, and it was absolutely overpowered. Now, in this game with the R3K, this thing is usually for me you can one burst with it but i find that only one burst about 30 to 35 percent of the time even with this ultimate class setup and that it's more a two burst and sometimes even a three burst when you don't hit those full bursts and in this game where the time to kill is just so damn fast it's better to use a weapon any other assault rifle and spray off than to try to be accurate with a burst weapon now this weapon is still very usable certain people are going to love this weapon certain people are going to hate it for me i think it's definitely you know it's still a good gun it's still very usable however I think it does need a little bit of a buff compared to the other assault rifles. I'll throw the class setup up on the screen. The class setup I was using here is for the fully automatic version, but I also use the exact same class setup for the burst version of it. That's basically because this class setup is 100% made to get you those one burst kills and made to, you know, this gun, is, I use it similar to how you would use an M8 or how you use any sort of burst weapon in Call of Duty history to post up with and to get streaks and to hold down objectives. So let's throw the class up on the screen right now and let me talk about it. So obviously I have the Rekt here. You guys can have any variant that you guys want. Uh, one thing I want to say is uh, about the variants before we get into the class setup obviously is the Rekt variant which makes it fully auto is very very good. However the R3K Eclipse which is I believe the rare variant of it actually gives you like a bonus long barrel that stacks with the long barrel which is called Particle Amp because this is an energy assault rifle. So you basically have have double long barrels on this weapon if you do have that rare variant so variants are 100 super important to this gun and let's get right into the class up now as far as the sight i don't really like the iron sights with this gun it's very similar to the m8a7 from black ops 3 in that way uh i didn't like the iron sights on that gun either so i decided to use an elo sight you can throw on different things i was testing out the trojan sight the reflex sight the elo sight that's all up to personal preference. Me personally, I was just rocking with the, the ELO site and I find that that one works out very well. And then my two attachments that run on this thing are going to be stock and particle amp. Stock, basically to be able to strafe with an assault rifle. I feel so stiff when I'm not using stock. I feel like my soldier isn't very fit and isn't, you know, doesn't have the ability to outplay people and outstrafe people. And of course, particle amp is going to be for the burst weapon or even when you're using it in the fully automatic mode. You want to be able to get those one burst kills and that's why having that extra stop and power at range for the particle amp especially if you stack it with the rare version of the variant of the eclipse definitely does help now as far as my perk setup 
Basically, I had a perk set up here for, like I said, posting up, getting kill streaks, and that's why my combat rig setup was actually combat focus and ping. Works out very well for posting up and building up to yourself to, to score streaks, of course. Uh, the Scorchers, the Warden, some of the, my favorite streaks in this game. But as far as the uh, class setup for the perks, I run Blast Shield just so I can't get naded out of wherever I'm posting up. Hardline and Scavenger, pretty self-explanatory um, second perk. I don't even feel the need to explain that anymore just to be able to not run out of ammo and also to be able to build up to my streaks. And then, of course, Marksman as my third perk because this gun does have some mad range on it. You're not going to get one burst kills at range. It's virtually impossible. You're going to get two to three burst kills at range, but it definitely does have that range on it. And that's why Marksman is the best option. Now, after putting all that on, I basically had one extra slot for something else. And I, I mix this up a little bit between running a secondary like the Oni and between running a trip mine. I think the secondary Oni is very useful when you have the burst weapon because the burst weapon is not very good at close range. So being able to whip out that secondary can help you out a lot. However, when you're using the fully automatic version or the epic version like I was, you don't really need a secondary. And that's why if you see in these gameplays, I did have it on, but I don't think I even used it once because I have a fully automatic gun. I'm going to run up close quarters with my fully automatic. However, if I had a burst gun, I'm not going to run close quarters with it. Now, that's basically it. As far as the playstyle with this gun, like I said, this gun is made for posting up, for picking people off of head glitches, for getting those one burst kills. And in order to get one burst kills with this gun, you need to be very, very accurate. It is a three round burst kill and you need to hit every single round of that burst to get a one burst kill with the burst variant of this gun. And basically that means you literally can't miss a shot or else it's going to be a two burst kill. And if you miss more shots, then it's going to be a three burst sometimes. It all depends on how many bullets out of each burst you are hitting. If you guys don't know how burst guns work, basically, is I'm going to be shooting out three bullets at a time. Now, you might think if you hit them, that means all three are guaranteed to hit them. And that's not exactly how it works. Because this is an energy weapon, the, the, the particles of energy are based. You can see them as they're shooting out of the gun. And you might only hit one out of three. You might hit two out of three. You might miss them all. Or you might hit three out of three and get that one burst kill and this gun definitely plays and in favor to people who take their time and line up their shots and can hit those one burst kills now the reason why i think this gun is a bit underpowered is because in a game that plays so fast paced you really don't have time to, to to focus on your aim setting up and getting those one burst kills because other people will just run up to you with an rpr evo and just hip fire you and this game is extremely fast paced probably one of the most fast-paced Call of Duties we've ever seen, to be honest. And some people won't like that I'm saying that, but it's just true. If you look at it, look at the time to kill. Uh, look at the map, super duper small. Um, one thing that doesn't make it fast paced is, of course, the kill streaks. The kill streaks aren't like in Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3. If you got yourself some kill streaks, the enemies were dying over and over and over and over again. In this game, if you get some kill streaks, they might want to stay inside. They might just run out. It's not that big of a deal. And that's basically the difference between this and other games. And I don't really find that the burst weapons are that strong in this game. And I think they definitely do need a buff. And I wouldn't be surprised. If this R3K does get a buff, because this R3K actually has a, ver a variant of it, which is a nuke variant. It's available from supply drops only. It's a legendary variant, and it's a nuke variant, and it's a burst variant of that gun. And I think that gun is going to be pretty hard to get nukes with unless they actually buff the way or the, the damage per burst or do some sort of changes to it. I think you can definitely uh, you know expect to see that. I know that burst weapons are usually the hardest ones to balance. If you look at the history of Call of Duty, we have the FAMAS from Modern Warfare 2, so overpowered. We have even just look at the M8A7 from Black Ops 3 or the Chickum from Black Ops 2, the, the burst SMG, uh, or even the Pharaoh from Black Ops 3. Don't even forget about that. Another burst one. These guns are buffed and nerfed constantly throughout the life cycle. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see this gun, you know, be buffed in the next patch update and become really good and then be nerfed again and do a similar sort of song and dance to what Black Ops was doing with the M8A7. For some reason, Call of Duty just has trouble balancing the burst weapons. I think that's because the inconsistency of them, because you can hit that, you could, could be hitting a full burst, or you could only be hitting a third of the burst, and it's really, really hard to figure out how to balance these guns. As of right now, I think that the epic version of this gun is the best, and I do definitely do like the epic version. I think it's a really good gun, and you guys can see that. But as far as the burst portion of this gun, I gave you guys the best class setup to be able to get one burst kills. You need to have that particle amp on. Definitely, that is exactly like long barrel. If you, you catch me using my M8A7 in Black Ops 3, I'm going to be running long barrel and stock every single time, or sometimes quick drop. I'm just messing around. But basically, it's the same in this game. You want to run that particle amp, and you want to focus on your aim and getting one burst kills if you want to be successful with this weapon. 
and that's just my opinion on it and i want you guys to let me know yours down in the comment section down below if you guys could drop a like on this video i'd really appreciate it. like i said 1500 likes would be awesome subscribe to the channel if you guys are new subscribe for cookie and don't looky and i'm out peace